What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend Gang! Right, we are fake versus real. I know you guys love all this stuff, so I thought I'd get someone. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got a new Instagram, yo. It's called Fake Spotter. Yeah, I thought I'd set this one up. So many fakes out there on the roadside. I thought, you know what? Bam! Let's try and expose some fakes. Jump on the old Instagram, man. Fake Spotter, come and follow me. I've already got 135 followers, man, so we're looking to make that blow up. Getting a whole bunch of stuff that is not even clothing. We can look at anything, and it's all gonna be on here, guys. So run, tell your mates, yeah. Fake spot, ah. Oh. Right, man, so what we got? We got in some Stone Island bits and bobs. We got in some Stone Island jeans. People have been asking me to do a fake versus real Stone Island jeans for absolutely ages, so I thought, you know what? Let's get it in. So, bam, got both of the jeans right here. Got Stone Island there, got Stone Island here. So, what I'm gonna say to you, chaps, is which one do you think is real and which one do you think is fake? Let's have a butcher's. Right, so I was really pleased when I put this up on the old fake spot. Lots of you already knew which one was fake. I know you guys are already up to scratch, but there's still, there might be some cats out there who are not aware. So, we're gonna have a look in a little bit more detail today, okay? What I wanna say is the one that is fake is actually this one right here. So, how do we know that, guys? How can we spot it's fake? Yeah, yeah. Right, so the first thing we can look at is the tags, okay? Now, these tags didn't come with these jeans. I just took this off another product. First thing we can look at is always look at the tags. Look at this tag right here, 32, got Stone Island there. This is a fake tag, yo. Stone Island don't even do tags like that. The tags look more like this, okay? That's how the tag should look. Nice, long and slim. Now, this number here is called the article number or art number. These numbers actually mean something. It tells you everything about the product. It tells you whether it's Stone in Ireland, it tells you what year, it tells you the materials, the dyeing process, everything. I will do a video to cover that in future, okay? This tag right here doesn't have anything on it, so we know it's a fake. Next thing that we can look off real quick is the badge. Let's have a look at the badge. But as I've always said from day dot, if you look at the um, stitching going around the Stone Island, you can see it's very, very rectangle. It's not meant to be like that, guys. It's meant to be a little bit curved, like you can see on this one here. Uh, have a look at the back of this badge. Look how terrible that is. It's actually making me dizzy just looking at it man <laughs> eee. next thing that we can look at as well is we can look at the old buttons now I know it's not going to be easy to see you can see that this button right here you can see there's a lot more detail it's a lot more thicker if you look at the Stone Island fake you can see it's really thin almost like it's been cut out with a really small knife or something it's not very well done and there's not a lot of detail so that's the other things to look out for okay right the other thing that we can look out for straight away is if we look at the patch at the back it, it looks like these ones are quite similar but if we look quite closely we can see there are some subtle differences on this one first things first the length here there's no length and there's no width number there's meant to be a, a, a length and a width number so length is 34 and the waist is 32 also if we look closely we can see that there's an area where the belt goes back on the fake on the original one it's not like that it's fully stitched all the way through also some of the things that I noticed is that the SL is in bold whereas in this one it's not bold at all and also so the writing is a little bit bigger so those are some of the differences there okay the other differences that I'm going to show you as well is if we look at the studs thankfully Stone Island on the original one they've put Stone Island on the studs there but if you look on the fake there's nothing there at all it's just blank complete nonsense the thing we can look at as well is we, look at, we can look at the zips now the fake one BAM Look at the fake one, they've even got YKK zips on there, yo. But these are fake zips, those are not the genuine ones, okay? If we look over here, we can see it's the um, Stone Island is actually using button down there, okay? So you can see, and they're all engraved. Look at that, all engraved with Stone Island. So that's one of the other things to notice. The other thing I noticed about the jeans as well is if you look inside, there's some extra buttons there. Look at that, you can even mask your buttons inside the jeans. And if you look over at the fake, can't even see that whatsoever. Nothing inside there to hide your Stone Island badge just in case you felt like it. If okay. we look further inside the jeans as well though, the most important feature here, you can see the Certi logo there. And oh yeah, hold tight, I'm going to be doing a video with Certi logo real soon, trust me. We're going to be doing a video and I'm going to be getting them to explain to you exactly how the Certi logo works and a little bit more information about them as a company. Now if we look over at the fake one, we can see the label is totally different guys 
totally different. Should have a Certi logo on there. All Stone Island products after 2014 should have a Certi logo, but we can quite clearly see on the fake one, doesn't even have that complete nonsense, okay? Aside from that, I must say the wash on the jean is very close to the original one. It's not too far off. The other thing that we can look at as well is we look at the knife pocket that's in here. I think that's what they used to call it back in the day, like in the cowboy days when they were running around with denim. Not that you're meant to be keeping a knife in there nowadays, if you know what I mean. Tag patch there on the side. There's nothing on this one. Even the knife pocket here, you can see it's totally different from this one. It should have two studs on there, but there's no, there's no studs on the fake one as you can see. Also, if we look at the Stone Island, you can see that Stone Island have finished off the label inside there with a nice little bit of stitching, but you can see on the original they haven't even done that. And it does look slightly different as well. It looks like this one's a little bit thinner. And I've also noticed on the back of here, there's no stitching like that, so we can see that's completely wrong. They got that bit wrong there as well, okay? I mean, if you see Stone Island denim jeans going for around 30 pound and people saying to you that they're genuine, blah 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 look at those signs guys i mean i think the easiest thing for you to do is just to ask them if there's a certi logo look at this stone island button there i haven't even seen a stone island button like this black one before man absolute nonsense should be looking like this on the jeans guys okay so that's it man that's it and don't forget to jump on the old fake spot on man look since we've been talking how many people have jumped on Let's have our butchers. Bam, look, 176. I've had about 40 or 50 or something people jumped on. We'll have a little bit of fun with that. So that's it for the video, guys. Leave your comments on the comments box below. Let me know what you think. So much more coming, man. Stay tuned.